Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Jankovich. That means it's time for me to read you a book. Today's book is called Growing Trees. And it's all about how trees grow, but it's also about a little girl who grows her own tree. I hope you enjoy it. Let's do it. Growing Trees. Written by Judith Bauer Stamper. Illustrated by Wesley Lowe. This is a picture of my tree and me. We've been growing up together for a whole year. It all began last summer. I went to visit a national forest with my mom and dad. A forest is a great place to learn about trees. There are trees as far as you can see. We took a hike with a forester an expert on taking care of trees in the wild. The forester showed us small young trees and big old trees that were like towering giants. Then he explained the life cycle of a tree. It all starts out with a seed. In the spring, the warm sun makes the seed germinate or begin to grow. The seed sprouts a small root that grows down into the ground. The root absorbs water and minerals from the soil. Next, a small stem pushes up out of the ground and grows two tiny seed leaves. The leaves use sunlight to give the tree energy to grow. A new growth called a shoot appears at the tip of the stem. Larger leaves grow from the shoot. The seedling is on its way to becoming a tree. The young tree keeps growing if it gets enough water and sunlight to survive. In its next year of life, the tree grows buds that may turn into leaves. Soon the tree has branches, a woody trunk, bark, and lots of leaves. Each year the tree grows taller and its trunk gets wider. A forester can tell how old a tree is by counting its rings. A tree trunk has one ring for each year it has been alive. This tree was more than a hundred years old. A forester can also find out how old a living tree is by using a tree borer, a tool that takes out a small part of the tree without hurting it. After our trip to the forest, I wanted to grow a tree of my own. Dad took me to a nursery where you can buy flowers, shrubs, and trees. A nursery has trees that have grown big enough to transplant or plant in a new place. The nursery worker showed me trees that have flowers in the spring and fruit in the summer. We looked at trees with soft leaves and trees with pine needles. I chose a maple tree. My tree was already more than four feet high, just a little taller than me. The nursery worker helped us choose a shovel to plant the tree. She recommended an organic fertilizer to feed the tree as it grows. Then she went over the instructions on how to plant my tree. I picked out a place in our backyard where the tree would have lots of sunlight and lots of room to grow. Then Dad and I dug a hole with the shovel. The hole was as deep as the tree's root ball and about three times as wide. We carefully lowered the tree into the hole. We loosened the burlap bag around the roots. Next, we filled in soil around the tree. I added organic fertilizer to the soil and sprinkled mulch on top. Then I gave my tree a nice drink of water. Dad asked an arborist to check the other trees in our yard. 
An arborist is like a doctor for trees. She pruned the branches of our big trees with pruning shears. Those are those big scissor looking things she has, pruning shears. She checked all the trees for signs of disease. She also listened for bugs by using a stethoscope. She looked like a doctor. One of our oldest trees had been damaged in a storm. The arborist used a handsaw and a chainsaw to cut off two broken limbs. I asked the arborist to check my tree. She said it was doing just fine. She added a stake to help it grow up straight. When the weather turned cold, my tree's green leaves turned bright red. Then they twirled down to the ground. The next spring, my tree grew buds that turned into leaves. Over the summer, it grew branches with more leaves. Its trunk grew thicker. This is a close-up of red maple branch with buds on it in the spring. So this is a close-up view of this. If you took a hand lens or a magnifier to the tree, you'd see this. This is a leaf from my red maple tree. It has three lobes that have saw-toothed edges. The bark is dark gray and rough with little ridges. All summer, I watered my tree and checked it for insects. It just kept growing. The arborist said that my tree could grow 60 feet high. That's taller than my house. Look at my tree now. It's much taller than I am. If I take good care of it, it will be around for a long, long time. A tree is a great friend to grow up with. You can plant a tree too. Which tree would you choose? An oak, a palm, a pine, weeping willow, Japanese maple, or sweet cherry? Today's book taught us a lot about trees. Taught us about some of the different kinds of trees, how to care for trees, and how people can really love trees. We learned about arborists who take care of trees and nurseries where you can go buy trees. Did you pick a favorite? I did. We'll have to talk about it soon. Bye-bye.